Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, this last week has actually been a very productive with a lot of work. Um, so uh, first, the videos that came out this last week, um, I did two videos about smoothing planes. Um, apparently, I had a lot of people suddenly asking me about smoothing planes. How do you set them up? What are they, uh, you know, what are the parameters of them? So I decided to do two different videos rather than one like half hour long video. Um, so I, first one, I talked about what is a smoothing plane in its shape? Uh, you know, what is the characteristics that you find in a smoothing plane? Or what would you want in choosing a plane to turn into a smoothing plane? And just kind of went through some of the different things and that what I'm looking for uh, when I'm picking one up. Uh, and then the second video was all about tuning the plane. How do you set up a plane so that you can get a glass smooth finished surface um, regardless of what the grain is doing. So even if you're working through curly grain, reversing grain, um, to get a plane that will almost always give you a perfectly glass smooth surface. Um, and that was that was a fun one. And I love a well-tuned smoothing plane, as most people do. Um, the curls are just fantastic. So um, if you want to know more about that, feel free to check out the video. So a while ago, when I sold all of my tools and my old shop, my table saw planer joiner, uh, my old bench, um, I got rid of a lot of other tools. And one of the tools that I got rid of were my old holdfasts. And that was something that was kind of sad. Um, I, I don't know why, I just really like a holdfast. And these are great tools that I absolutely love, and I've been wanting to get a set for a while. Well, uh, finally, booyah! These are from Black Bear Forge, uh, a really, really cool guy. I got to meet him at uh, WIA this year, and he sent me these two. So I'm going to actually get a chance to do a video about um, holdfasts. What are they? How do they work? And uh, what are the benefits? Um, I find these to be one of the coolest tools in the entire shop. Um, not just because they are very useful, but they're so simple. I mean, it's just a hunk of steel bent in a particular shape, and it can do amazing things for you. So I'm looking forward to putting a video out on that. As well as I have a couple videos now queued up for um, some of the joints that I'm working on in the dresser. So hopefully those videos will be coming out soon. I'm going to be showing how to do um, a dado, a stop dado, um, a sliding dovetail. How do you do it with hand tools? Um, so I might be putting those out here soon. I might just hold on to those and use them as uh, filler videos when I need some more time. Um, another video I have that I'm really looking forward to is the low angle jack plane uh, versus a, a, a traditional um, with a, a bevel down uh, version of the plane. And so really kind of going back and forth between well, what's better or uh, what are their uses and uh, how do they compare. So I think this should be kind of an interesting video. Um, might start a lot of discussion and uh, yeah, I, I have a lot of op opinions about low angle um, bevel up and, and uh, um, traditional bevel down planes. And so it should be an interesting video. So if you want to see any of those videos um, particularly earlier than others, um, please let me know. Um, I might bump them up the list. On the dresser, I was able to get a lot of work done. I was able to get all of the drawer shelves um, fitted to the legs, and so they're all dadoed in, and then sliding dovetails on the top one to hold everything together. Um, it was a, a little bit more work than I was expecting, but I'm coming down the, the end stretch on the, the carcass. Um, so hopefully this next week, um, I will have the carcass done. I have three more pieces I have to mill up and join for it, um, and then it should be the long and tedious process of gluing this beast together. Uh, so there should be some fun with that and hopefully, fingers crossed, by this time next week I'll have a carcass sitting over here that I can show you, but we'll see. I've had a lot of people asking me about um, plane restorations and uh, something going on with that, and so I'm probably going to be doing some videos, not right now, but in the in the coming months. I have a lot of planes that need to be restored. Um, several of the Bailey pattern hand planes. Um, I have a rabbit plane. I have a dado plane, as well as I have like. 40 wooden uh, molding planes, tongue planes, uh, smoothers, and things like that. And so really I have a bunch of different planes to be restored. So if there's something particular you want to see, uh, let me know. I might uh, throw that to the top of the list. 
One of the really surprising things from this last week uh, was I met my first goal on Patreon. So I want to say a huge thank you. You guys have brought this about. It is um, phenomenal, and I am... I, I'm, I'm beside myself. Um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so I've had uh, um, enough people support me on Patreon that I'm going to start doing um, videos every week on Patreon with tips. Um, some of the things I do in the shop, um, just quick little ideas, um, one minute long videos of, hey, I'm doing this. It just is something that helps me out in this way. So if you want to see that, um, you can check me out on Patreon. Uh, along that line, I've been thinking for a while about doing a, a Q&A video, and uh, I might do that next weekend. I'm not quite sure. I'd probably do something live, um, but uh, seeing what uh, questions you guys have. So um, if you want to see a Q&A video, um, I, I don't know if uh, people have enough questions that I can actually feel the whole Q&A video, but um, I would love to hear that. Uh, if you have questions for me, please let me know, and I might add them. The Midwest Tool Collectors Association is going to have another meet here in Illinois, um, just south of Springfield, and that is going to be on the, let's see, that was on the, the 6th, the 6th of November, and I am going to be there. I'm looking forward to meeting a few of you, and it uh, should be a fun time. If you've never been to a Midwest Tool Collectors Association meet, you've got to check it out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, and uh, it's a great time to learn more about tools and buy them. Um, just get to know other people who are using and collecting them. So the shout out this week is to Southern Ginger's Workshop. Um, really, really cool channel. Uh, his videography skills are phenomenal. And every time I watch his, I get some new ideas for how I either want to run the video or how I want to do some woodworking. Um, and he's really, really enjoyable to watch. And so I definitely say go check out his channel. Um, his woodworking and uh, his projects are inspirational in, in many, many ways. Um, really cool channel too. So go check out his channel if you haven't already seen it. So that's about it for this week. Uh, it has been a blast of a week and this next one should be fairly similar. I've got a lot of things planned and uh, I think I'm going to actually have some time in the shop. So it uh, should be interesting. If there's any particular topic that you've seen that you want me to talk more about, uh, please let me know. If you have questions for a Q&A video, uh, please leave those in the links below. Uh, if you did like this video, please hit like and think about subscribing. I do want to say a, an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon, uh, especially for hitting the, the first goal. Um, thank you for that. I have a few more goals lined up, and I'm looking forward to um, getting more things uh, that I can actually provide to you guys. So if you want to find out more about that, you can click the link right over here. If you did like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.